Stephen Hawking is trapped in his paralyzed body. But about a year ago, the 66-year-old scientist left his wheelchair for a memorable plane ride. As the aircraft climbed to 9,100 meters and carved parabolic arcs in the sky, Hawking floated free in zero gravity. The renowned scientist shared his enthusiasm for space with an audience at George Washington University on the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Space Agency, NASA. Can you hear me? Speaking through a computer-driven voice synthesizer, Hawking called for a new era in space exploration that he likened to the European discovery of the New World in 1492. Spreading out into space will have an even greater effect. It will completely change the future of the human race and maybe determine whether we have any future at all. Hawking proposes establishing a base on the moon within 30 years, reaching Mars within 50 years, and traveling to the moons of outer planets within 200 years. We have ignition and liftoff. He says exploration would give the space program and science a new sense of public purpose at a time when human survival could depend on new discoveries of air, water, and energy. There are around a thousand stars within 30 light years of Earth. If 1% of these have Earth-sized planets in the gold Galax zone, we have 10 candidate new worlds. 4, 3, 2, 1, zero and lift off. Hawking says interstellar exploration should be the long-term goal of the next 500 years, a brief period compared to the 2 million year history of human life on Earth. Civilization began about 10,000 years ago and the rate of development has been steadily increasing. If the human race is to continue for another million years, we will have to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hawking says that while the search for new worlds may not solve any immediate problems on Earth, it would give a new perspective on them. Space, here I come. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.